The Petty Chap's Nest by John Clare, read for LibriVox.org by David Barnes. Well, in my many walks I rarely found a place less likely for a bird to form its nest close by the rut-gold wagon road, and on the almost bare foot-trodden ground, with scarce a clump of grass to keep it warm, and not a thistle spreads its spears abroad, or prickly bush to shield it from harm's way, and yet so snugly made that none may spy it out save accident, and you and I had surely passed it on our walk to-day, had chance not led us by it. Nay, e'en now, had not the old bird heard us trampling by and fluttered out, we had not seen it lie, brown as the roadway side. Small bits of hay, plucked from the old propped haystack's pleachy brow, and withered leaves make up its outward walls, that from the snub-oak dotrel yearly falls, and in the old hedge-bottom rot away, built like an oven with a little hole hard to discover. That snug entrance wins, scarcely admitting e'en two fingers in, and lined with feathers warm as silken stole, and soft as seats of down for painless ease, and full of eggs scarce bigger e'en than peas. Here's one, most delicate, with spots as small as dust, and of a faint and pinky red. We'll let them be, and safety guard them well, for fear's rude paths around are thickly spread, and they are left to many dangers ways, when green grasshoppers jump might break the shells, while lowing oxen pass them morn and night, and restless sheep around them hourly stray, and no grass springs but hungry horses bite that trample past them twenty times a day. Yet like a miracle in safety's lap they still abide unhurt and out of sight. Stop, here's the bird, that woodman at the gap hath fritted from the hedge. Tis olive green. Well, I declare it is the petty chaps, not bigger than the wren, and seldom seen. I've often found their nests in chance's way, when I in pathless woods did idly roam. But never did I dream until to-day a spot like this would be her chosen home. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.